Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys so before we get started i just want to read these headlines to you right here cryptocurrencies plunge as iran begins to attack against israel well we know lots of things happening in middle east for last one year did the market give a crap absolutely not market went higher hitting all-time highs and now the same you know, old news coming out just, you know, with some tweaks and stuff. And yes, Bitcoin is down right now. But also, you got to look at the technicals. Bitcoin on that weekly time frame, RSI was off the page for multiple weeks. And now on that longer time frame, if things are pulling back, that is totally healthy, not because of this news. So I don't think, you know, you're going to see a massive effect here in this market going into Monday morning. On Tesla stock is down 2%, so Tesla not even holding 20 day moving average right here on this daily chart, which is sitting at 172 and now it's trading at 171. So going into Monday session, guys, Tesla below 172, you're going to see 165 to 164 and then 160. Above 172, watch out for a move all the way up to 180. And once we get above 180, then we can talk about more upside on Tesla. And don't forget, we have earnings coming up very soon on Tesla. And that is uh, following week on the 23rd of this month. On Apple stock, it's up 0.86%. So everything is down in the market on Friday. And Apple rallied all the way up to 178.36. And guess what? I don't have anything to show you guys, but this was a fantastic trade. I actually took live on uh, Friday morning. This thing, when I saw it at 178, I actually got some 175 puts, same day expiration. And this one, I mean, look at this dump off right after I got in guys, right here. This is where I got in around 178 or just below 178 I got in with this candle and then big dump off all the way down to 175, puts went through the roof and then this thing went back up and now trading above 173 once again and also touching 50 day moving average right here, 177 and not breaking above this 50 day moving average. So going into next week, Monday morning, 173 that's gonna be a strong support to watch and also apple can break and hold 177 you're going to see apple moving even higher all the way up to 180 183 and then this gap 186.79 below 173 we do have strong support rising 20 day moving average which is sitting at 171.73 so that's gonna be also a strong support below 173 and just like Tesla, we do have earnings coming up on Apple right here, and that is next month. And here's my X account, and if you guys are on there, definitely give me a follow, and there is no subscription, nothing here on X, it's totally free, and you can always ask me a question if you have right here on X, and I'm going to share this fantastic play with you guys from today on Oxy, and you can see this thing here, Oil was pumping this morning. Shorted right here exactly at 71. Right to the penny. 71 getting puts. And not only these puts right here for April 26th. I actually got same day expiration for only 4 cents a piece. And they got up to 34 cents. So this was a massive money maker today. And uh, just before closing you can see selling out right here at 3.11 p.m. And this was a massive trade shorting at 71 and locking in profit below 69 going in the money puts right here. So if you want all these trade ideas and especially if you guys are serious about trading and you want to learn then definitely check out their link down below in the description for Patreon and you do get live trading also three days a week. 
on Amazon stock is down 1.54%. So Amazon getting down to 185. But again, support was holding, went back up and now trading at 186 before closing on Friday, just under 186.40. So Amazon here, we do have strong support at 185. And above 185, watch out for the resistance to break 186.40, rising five day moving average. And then you are going to see Amazon moving higher again, all the way back up to 190. Below 185, things will change. And Amazon can drop all the way down to 183, possibly down to 181 to 180 to retest 20 day moving average. And then from there, we can talk about more downside on Amazon. On Google, stock is down 1%, so Google hitting another fresh new all-time high, and that is 161.70. Things were getting far too overextended, and immediately we saw a pullback on Friday. And now, it's holding above rising 5-day moving average, 158.38, and that's going to be your line in the sand going into Monday morning. Below that, you're going to see a dump off down to 155 and then below 155 we do have support down here rising 20 day moving average 153 but as long as google can stay above rising 5 day moving average 158.38 then watch out for a move back up to 162 and possibly been another fresh new all time high and that's going to be around 166 on Meta, it's down over 2% and Meta holding above rising 13-day moving average right here, which is sitting at 507.70. And so far, a pullback down to 509 and now trading at 511. So Meta here, guys, don't forget about this massive gap. And also, we do have earnings coming up and that is not next week, following week right here on Meta and things can really change. I mean, from $88 up to 531 bucks. That is a massive move. We need a correction here on Meta, and that can happen possibly with that earnings coming up in just a matter of two weeks. So here on Meta, going into Monday morning, there will be support right here at 507, I would say 508, and just below that, right here, 505, and then this gap, 497.53. And below that, there is going to be more downside. But at least now, if you look at this right here, it's holding this uptrend again. So Meta here, below this support right here, 511, we do have support at 508, 505, and then this gap at 497.53. To the upside, as long as 511 can hold, then watch out for a move back up to 520. And you can see lots of rejection right here. Rejection on Thursday. And rejection on Friday got up to 520 and then a rejection bringing Meta down to 509 and into closing holding this uptrend 511. So watch out. 520 breaks, then you're going to see more continuation to the upside. And in that case, 530 to 538 possible. But below 511 and then 508, there is going to be a lot more selling, possibly down to this gap to close this gap at 497.53 on Meta. On AMD, it's down 4.23% and AMD barely holding 164. It's under 164, came down to 161.83. And just like I said in my last video that this bear flag can actually play out. And we got a gap down on Friday and this thing was never able to actually go back up to close this gap at 166.55. So this gap here on top is still open and we got two more gaps here on top on AMD. Now going into Monday morning, there will be resistant now at 164 and above 164, there will be resistant at 166.55 and above that we can talk about more upside possibly coming up and retesting negative sloping 13 day moving average 173.74. Now below 164, definitely there is gonna be more downside. This bear flag will play out completely and this thing can come down all the way down to this gap 148.75. On Microsoft is down 1.41%. So Microsoft again down on the day, getting down to 419.77, but into closing again holding above Previous all-time highs right here, 420. So that's going to be your line in the sand right here on Microsoft going into Monday morning, 420. Because below that, you're going to see a dump off down to 415, 413. And possibly, we got a bunch of gaps down here, at least 
Microsoft can come down and close this gap at 405.68. Now to the upside, as long as Microsoft can hold above 420, then watch out for a move back up to right here, 423, 425, and then 430. On NVIDIA, stock is down 2.68%. So NVIDIA, this is still a double top right here on NVIDIA stock. And so far, it's just buying time and not coming down anymore. After getting down to, what was it, right here, 829. And then we saw a strong bounce back up to 909. And now it's pulling back again on Friday, down $24. So going into next week, even with that sell-off on Friday right here, it's not actually trading below. Five, the moving average, 876. So that's gonna be your line in the sand to watch on Nvidia stock, 876. Below that, you're going to see a quick flush all the way down to 840, and then this gap, 823. Now, Nvidia can stay above 876, then watch out, Nvidia needs to break and hold 895, and then you're going to see continuation to the upside up to 900 and possibly even 926. So Netflix also going down 0.95% and we do have earnings coming out from Netflix on Thursday this week. Now if you look at my screen, Netflix again, how many times got rejection at 6.30? Many times. One, two, three, four, five and a bunch of other times right here. And now again another rejection on Friday and now it's holding above 621.48 rising 20 day moving average. So that's gonna be your line in the sand right here on Netflix. That support needs to hold 621.48. Below that, you're going to see a dump off all the way down to 604. And then we also have support exactly at 600 and then 588. Now Netflix can actually hold right here 621.48. Then watch out for a move back up to 630 and then 638.